Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at polynomials with exponential terms. So what I mean by this is there is a specific type of question which uses some exponential terms and index laws and then using the polynomial uh, methods we've used before such as solving, completing the square or the quadratic formula to be able to solve and for x. So it's not really a topic by itself, however it's a typical question that they do like to ask and you can see it in different forms and if you haven't done it before it's often quite difficult if you haven't seen the method. So it's questions that look like this, so 3 to the 2x plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 and you have to solve for x. So first it may seem hard in that there's uh, integer, then there's a 3 to the x, and then there's 3 to the 2x. So how can you solve for x other than trial and error? So getting this question, we have 3 to the 2x plus 3 to the x minus 6 equals 0. So what's common in this? Well, they're both to the power of 3, and then there's x in both terms. So it's not x by 1, so we can't just put everything to one hand side, then use a log log 3, put them over, because that's not going to work. If we take log of, example, if we put to one side, so we have a 3 to the 2x plus 3x equals 6, and then we take log of both sides, so log 3. The problem with that is we're going to end up with log 3, 3 to the 2x plus 3x, and you won't be able to simplify that down and get just x. So what you have to do is, if, the first thing to realise is that 3 to the 2x is equal to 3 to the x squared. And that's because using index laws, that is equal to 3 and then 2 times x. Another way to think about this is 3x times 3x is equal to 3x plus x, which is equal to 3, 2x. So either way, you can see how it's 3x squared as these, uh, in, using both different methods. So we have 3x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Then you can now see that we sort of have these common terms here. So these are both the same value, and these are the only terms with x. So what I'm going to do here is I'll let a equal 3 to the x. So a is just an arbitrary value, so a. Then this turns this expression into a polynomial, a squared plus 3a that's a mistake. That's actually very, make sure you don't do that by running 3a because a is equal to 3x. So unless it's 3 times 3x, it's 3a. So it's just a squared plus a minus 6 equals 0. Now we can solve that using previous methods as 3 times negative 2 give us negative 6. 3 minus 2 give, gives us 1. And you could have also solved that using completing the square or the quadratic formula to give us that a is equal to negative 3 and a is equal to 2. Now we sub what a is equal to back into this, and then we should get two different values for a. So continuing this, we have 3x is equal to negative 3, and 3x is equal to 2. Now, when you have 3 to the power of something, we've already spoken about how this, as in a positive number to the power, can't give us a negative value, because 3 to the x when it's x is positive, well, obviously positive. When 3 is negative x, this is equal to 1 over 3 to the x. And if you graph it, you can see that it never is negative. So it can't equal negative 3. So we don't worry about this solution. So obviously leave it there and then just put like a, a cross to it so I can see that you've still interpreted it. However, we don't want to look at that solution and we don't want to worry about it. So looking at the next one, we have 3x is equal to 2. So I'm going to take log 3 of both sides, bring this x down, log 3, 3 is just 1, so I find that the solution is log 3 is equal to 2. So if I want to check this solution, I can do that. So the equation was 3, 2x plus three x minus six that is equal to zero and we found that x is equal to log three two. Summing in, summing this in we get three two log three two plus three log three two minus six and then well we can prove that we can say left hand side is equal to this. 
then the 3 and the log 3 cancel. We can bring the 2 up as a power. So what I mean by that is that becomes 2 squared. Because if you can take 2 down, then you can bring 2 up as a power. The so 3's cancel. We already have plus 2 here, minus 6. We get 2 squared, so that's 4 plus 2, minus 6. So that's left-hand side is equal to 0, as we've shown. Right-hand side is equal to 0. Therefore, left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So we've shown that x is equal to log 3, 2 is the solution to this equation. So what about another example? So it's the same thing where we have, we want to find a polynomial, we still have the exponential terms. So we have negative 14 plus 4 to the 4x plus 5 times 4 to the 2x. So the first thing you want to do, and these are just generally for polynomials, is you want to put the highest power to the lowest power. And by doing that, you can always get in the same uh, sort of form, and it'll be easy to work with. So what's the highest power? That's going to be 4x. So 4 to the 4x plus 5 times 4 to the 2x minus 14 is equal to 0. Then we can see that there are two sort of terms here. We have the 4 to the 4x and 4 to the 2x. Now we have to recognize that 4 to the 4x is equal to 4 to the 2x squared. That's because you can bring 2 down and 2 times 2x is equal to 4x. We can do show this another way by saying that 4 to the 2x times 4 to the 2x is equal to 4 to the 2x plus 2x, which is equal to 4 to the 4x. So what we can do here is we can say that this is equal to 4 to the 2x squared plus 5 times 4 to the 2x minus 14 equals 0. We do the same thing as we did before. We let a equal 4 to the 2x as this is a term here which is the same and now it turns into a polynomial. a squared plus 5a so notice how there is a 5 there because it was 5 times 4 to the 2x minus 14 equals 0. Solve this normally so we get a plus 7, a minus 2. So 7 minus 2 is 5, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 is equal to 0. Then we put these back in and we say that 4 to the 2x is equal to negative 7 and 4 to the 2x is equal to 2. That's because a was equal to those values. Now, 4 to the 2x has to be greater than 0. Therefore, 4 to the 2x cannot be negative 7. So the only solution is 4 to the 2x is equal to 2. We can put 4 to the 2x in regards to base 2. So 2 to the 2, 2x is equal to 2. So I'll just give myself some more space. So rubbing off this, and then bringing this up here, so going from here up to here, we get 2 to the 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the 4x is equal to 2 to the 1. As these are the same number, we can just equate 4x and 1. So 4x equals 1, therefore x equals a quarter.